think, hey, we're going to have a shower and it costs 15 bucks each with a towel. So can't complain at that. How cool were those Amish people? They were awesome. Now, I just want to say something. That's a swag. How are you? Yeah, That's a big tent. Yeah, it's called the big tent. Did you put it up? Can I have a look? Is it okay if I film? I, I have a YouTube channel. So did you rent this one? No. It's, uh, no, for this, this is just where we hang out. What, what do you, oh, you like staff here? What's that? Are you staff? Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. Shit, yeah. needs, needs, okay. needs some air conditioning in there though, don't you reckon? A little bit sometimes. <laughs> well, you know, it does get a little hot, but it gets cold too. It so. gets really cold. We so don't, don't have, have any air out conditioner here right around oh. here. So what do you guys do here? Uh, I'm a host. Oh yeah. I'm a cleaner. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So, you, so you, you look after the tourists? Yeah. yeah. Well, we call them guests. Guests, guests. okay, yep. Yeah. So we're going to the shower block and this is what you pay 220 bucks for. Jesus. Whew, looking forward to this shower. Having a shower, wow, feels so much better. It's worth the 15 bucks, just saying. The good news is before we go to bed, we've just got to wait for the sun to go down. So it's eight o'clock now, so it goes down in seven hours. So, and then it goes down for an hour, so that's good. Anyway, got this bad boy here. Any bears come near me? A cactus. Your Maltean. I was surprised at how easy it was to set up. Do you reckon it was easy? Yeah, piece of piss. Yeah, all right. Let's go and get something to eat, hey? I know people will say I told you so, but we just seem, everyone seems really nice at the campground. Comes up and say g'day to us, which is really nice. So we're gonna go and have some dinner now. Gonna go have some chow. Ready for some chow? Ready as I'm ever gonna be. Alrighty then, let's go. I wonder, wonder if those Danish people are still here. Right on. So we've decided to have the buffet. How does it work, man? I've had enough chops. Hey mate, hey mate, can you turn the lights off? Can you turn the lights off? What are you doing in there? Is there plenty of room? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> turn the lights off. I'm gonna go mine as well. It's bedtime. What's the time? <sighs> bedtime. Oh. Cozy, isn't it, David? So, so this bit opens up here. So I should be able to zip. But I've got ventilation here. I'm gonna say this is actually pretty. Look at this. Oh, it's not bad. Pretty comfy, Davo. Oh, I can unzip the bottom as well. More air. 
I'm, I'm pretty impressed. This is really cool. This is way better than what I thought it was. Sleeping on my Harley jacket. The temperature's nice. Good night. So I've woken up. So we're sort of in the Arctic, but I just want to show you something. It's 3.13 a.m. It doesn't get dark at all here. Some people said, oh, it gets dark for two hours. Nah, it doesn't get dark at all. It's pretty weird. Gotta get a drink of water. So the bikes are refueled. We're heading to um, Coldfoot now. So we've actually had to book a tour to get to the Arctic Ocean. You can't just roll up and, and, and swim in the Arctic Ocean. Um, you've actually got to book a tour. So we're on the 8.30 a.m. tomorrow tour. So we'll get to um, Dead Horse today. Um, we'll go to our, we're staying in a hotel. I'm, I'm not, not, not excited about that, but we've actually left our swags over there we've, we've we've just left them set up because we're going to be back here tomorrow anyway so um today dead horse hopefully we have a safe travel and there's no accidents hopefully david's not a dickhead on his motorbike and um all will be good dead horse let's do this So there's a sign here saying that there's no fuel services for 240 miles. Our bike's range is only 200 miles, so we've got backup fuel. So without the fuel, we will not make it. See the sign? We are headed to the Arctic Ocean. You ready? Let's go. I just found a moose in the water. I'm gonna put the drone up. This should be some good footage.
Okay, we're just having a quick break. I just want to dispel a couple of myths about the Dalton Highway. Some people say you can't ride it, you can't bring a Harley Davidson on it. It's all bullshit. The road is not that bad. It's actually, there's some potholes and a couple of hours of potholes, but and there's gravel. I mean, it's not bitumen, but it's totally rideable. Um, secondly, I just want to say the mosquitoes has not been an issue. Um, yep, sure, there's been mosquitoes, but people were making out that you're going to be eaten alive. That's not true. Thirdly, um, I, I don't know what the third thing is, but... They're just the two things I just wanted to, to say, but have a look at where we are. It's just absolutely stunning. It's all green. We're about 180 miles from the Arctic Ocean or from Dead Horse now, so we're just taking our time. There's no rush, there's no traffic, and um, it's actually pretty easy. It's a pretty easy ride, as long as, long as nothing goes wrong with the bike. But anyway, look at this. Magic. Magic Alaska. Only 80 miles to go now, about two hours, averaging around 45 to 55 miles an hour. 